Rebalancing the healthcare system in America is a hard and potentially messy challenge for everyone working within the healthcare system. Through highly personal insights, MGMA's president and CEO, Dr. Hallie Fisher Wright, presents a prescription to fix healthcare for everyone in her new book, Back to Balance. When Dr. Haley Fisher Wright sat down to write a book about health care, her inspiration came from an unlikely source, from a book about food, revealing what really goes on in restaurant kitchens. That whole point of Kitchen Confidential where you actually look behind uh, the kitchen and you say, okay, I'm not going to order fish on these certain days because we're not getting fish, fresh fish. I thought it was really important for patients to understand in a way that, and to be able to see what the flaws were and that there wasn't malice of intent behind it, that these are systems that just evolved. Why is my doctor running so late? Why did I receive three versions of the same medical bill? And why exactly are hospital gowns so uncomfortable? Back to Balance has the answers. And where they have a role is to say, if this evolved and no one's satisfied, shouldn't we stop that evolution and start from scratch and ask what we really want. Dr. Fisher Wright argues that the current healthcare system has lost focus and that the people losing out are the very people healthcare is supposed to help, the patients. Over the last really 30 to 40 years, the role of business has subsumed, one of my favorite words, the art of medicine. So what we're seeing is science and business with really little opposition of the art of medicine. When I talk about the art of medicine, I'm talking about the intensely personal relationship between providers and patients. That relationship, that humanity, that personal care, that connection. Perhaps the key message of Back to Balance is that the physician-patient relationship is at the heart of effective health care. Add in smart science and good business, and you have a formula for success. We know that 70 to 80 percent of physicians identify that they're dissatisfied in what they're doing. And it won't take long for people to figure out why would I pay on average $350,000 for an education that leads me to dissatisfaction in the long run. A recent study has shown that uh, physicians spend, for every hour that we spend face to face with a patient, we spend two hours on the computer documenting it. And you have to say as a patient, that doesn't seem to make sense. As a physician, you, you're asking yourself, is this why I went into medicine? Three quarters of people went into medicine to help people, and 50% of people said it was a calling. But it wasn't a calling to spend time on a screen. The book reveals a broken system, and yet it's staunchly optimistic, saying that a time of crisis offers the best opportunity to affect change. What I'm advocating for is that people become engaged partners. It's going to require everyone banding together with a willingness to look at things differently. One of the standout phrases in Back to Balance is ask, ask, ask. Dr. Fisher Wright says patients can make the system work better right now simply by asking physicians more questions about their care, their family's care, and options for treatment and prevention. Everybody who reads this book will recognize that they have the opportunity to have more influence, more control, and a better experience in healthcare. Healthcare will touch all of us at some point in time in our life. It doesn't touch us. You know, if you say to yourself, well, I'm healthy, you know, I haven't seen a doctor in X number of years, it'll affect your parents, your grandparents, your children. So it, when you read the book, you recognize that there's a place where you can actually create action in a positive way. And in my highest aspiration is it really drives important conversations for the future.